chapter 12, lesson 4. This, again, is the application lesson, so which means a little bit stressful. So we need to remind our kids the tools that we have learned throughout the year. These would be our bar models, which includes part whole, add on, take away, and comparing, as well as the number of groups, items per group, and total items. However, since it's money, it's best to amend the way that we will write. So for this lesson, it's number of things, amount per thing, and total amount. So again, this is number of things, amount per thing, and total amount. So just as from before, if the total amount is a question mark, that makes it a multiplication question. However, if the question mark is the total amount, then that makes it a division problem. So again, this is a tool that we must teach our kids to reduce the stress. So our problems will come from two pages, page 39, would be the addition and subtraction, and page 42 would be the multiplication and division problems. So I'll start with page 39. This is problem number two. So it says, Maggie had 50 cents. Her mother gave her 50 more cents. Question A says, how much money does Maggie have altogether? So if the question is all together, then that means this is a add-on because the mom gave her more. So we have 50 cents plus an additional 50 cents given by the mom. So that's 50 cents. This is 50 cents. And the question is the whole thing. So. Here, clearly, since the unknown is the whole thing, then that means this is an addition problem. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is 100 cents. But from the earlier lesson, we know 100 cents equals $1. Okay, there's a question B. It says Maggie spent 35 cents. How much money does she have left? So in this question, this is a takeaway problem because she spent 35 cents from what she had. So if she has, we will remove, this is the takeaway. So this is 35 cents. This is 100 cents. And how much does she have left is the question. Since what's missing is a part, this is a subtraction problem. So the equation will be 100 cents minus 35 cents equals question mark. So clearly, this is a computational problem. So we have to write it vertically. So 100 minus 35. So cannot take away 5 from 0. We got to borrow. So this is 0 this is 10, this is 9, this is 10. So this will be 5 and 6, making it 65 cents left after she spends 35 cents. Now, the second problem that we will be doing that deals with multiplication and division will be on page 42. Okay, this is problem number 4. The problem says six movie tickets cost $60. How much does each ticket cost? So again, clearly this is a multiplication or division problem. So our setup will be number of things, amount per thing, and total amount. Okay, there are six tickets. That will be the number of things and it costs $60. So clearly that's in total $60. That's why the question is how much does each, and again, from previous lessons, I have mentioned that each and per are one and the same thing. 
So clearly, this is a division problem, which means 60 divided by 6. Okay, which means here, what we need to do is remember that this will be $10. Again, parents, we need to remind our kids the tools that they have learned from the past. These are all just applications. So if they are able to draw and they're able to identify things properly, then this should be a fairly easy chapter. That concludes chapter 12. See you in the next chapter.